right, so welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be doing the creating the entry level spaces. So like we've done before, if you're new, you go to the project browser, which is taking long to load, and you make sure you have it active. Once that's done, it's going to open up the project navigator, and in here you have your project information that we saw earlier, and we see our constructs over here. We're going to open up the entry level, and we'll go on from there. So we're going to start off with the base settings, then we're going to draw the missing space separators. We're going to use the automatic uh, space generating, and then we're going to finalize the space and filling in their datas, renumbering the spaces, and adjusting tags to the places. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. So the first thing we're going to go to is go to the settings and our options. And again, we're going to go to our AEC object settings. We're going to go make sure we have automatic for space settings. We're leave automatic update right over here. We're going to leave this on. Make sure we have it on so as we're updating it, it's going to automatically do it for us. Press apply and press OK. From in here now, we're going to open up the model. And we're going to go look for our design tab. So if we don't see it here, click the little gear bar, go back to design. And now we see we have design tab. All right. All <coughs> something to note is you guys may notice that your this tool palette may look different. To fix the look of it, you just go to the settings and you can set the view options. You could have it as icons of text, like so. You go back here, view options, you could do icons only, you can make them bigger. Whatever you want to do, you can adjust it to the way you like it. I'm just going to go halfway and icons with text. I like that we have a space. We're going to go now to our design and we're going to go scroll down until we see one that's called space generator. <coughs> right over here, space generator. From there now, we're going to go to our boundary box, so in the properties. Oh, space. There we go. Now we have it. We're going to go to our boundary box, and in advanced settings. Where is it? <coughs> General. Oh, I did the wrong one. It's a space separator, sorry. My bad. Get out of this. Go down. It's a space separator. That's what I'm looking for. We go here now, and now it says specify the first point, but before we do that, we're going to go to our settings. Why can't I get settings? Uh, where's my options here? Let's just see, space separator, is it on? Specify the first point, so let's just go specify a first point. Let's just go over here. From here, we're going to go over two feet and go up like so. So we went to the corner, we didn't click, we just hovered over, put two feet. And then afterwards, we're going to go up 10 feet, making a little deck in the back. And then we're going to go across 29 foot two. And from there, <coughs> We're going to go back down and touch over here, which should be right over here. So we just click. See, this is going to the wrong direction, so we just do control, and we're going to make it perpendicular, and right over there it's going to snap. Once that's done, we're going to press Enter, and now we have our boundary for our backyard. So we click here, and now you can see Advanced, and you can see Boundary Space. We're going to set it to No. Uh, so Yes. So leave it at Yes. Once that's done, we're going to do another one. We're going to use a space separator. And we're going to go right over here between uh, B and C, to more closer to 2. And we're going to separate from here, from this corner. We're going to separate it to this corner here. We're going to press Enter. If you want to do this way, or you could even do it the same thing, going from left to right. Oops. Just press enter after, not escape. There's another one. We're going to do one more over here, down here. Space separator. 
from here you're gonna go down again we're gonna make sure that we do control right click perpendicular so it snaps straight on oops I keep hitting escape sorry about that perpendicular there we go enter and finally we have to make one more over here for the stairs space separator we're gonna go from over here we're gonna click go back go down like so and enter so we did that one there and now let's just go to finish off let's close off on grid 3 between C and D let's separate that for future so let's go space generator uh, space uh, separator sorry and go from here to here there we go and now by looking we did a couple of separations we did the one for the patio in the back we did also the one for the staircase we did one for this room over here and we closed off one over here and we did the final one in the corner there let's just hit save now that that's done the next thing we're going to do is we're going to automatically use the automatic space generator so now that we have the separations done the next step we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have the right scale the scale should be at 1 over 8 which is perfect for us we're going to go use space generator and the space generator we're going to use these settings over here we're going to go to our objects and we're going to make sure our tag we're going to click on it and we're going to go AEC room tag we're going to say associative yes by style generate we're going to leave it on none allow overlapping no extrusion we're going to put it at overall height as nine feet ceiling is going to be eight foot eight floor thickness is going to be four inches ceiling thickness is going to be zero inches height above ceiling is going to be zero inches the default surface height should be automatically put to eight foot eight and we're going to leave it as top of floor okay well now that we've done that the next step to do is just left click on the drawing so we're going to click generate all and like that we have our spaces set we have our one two three four five six so we have all our spaces set we're going to do another one also we're going to go back and change the scale to 1 over 4 and you notice now the text looks much better so as a result the, the text sizes are a lot smaller and we have a room here we have one space here one for the closet one for the staircase one for this room then we have one for the mini closet one for the overall and one for outside So we're gonna hit save and I'll give you some time to attempt it so now we're gonna finalize the spaces and filling in their data first delete those spaces that are not needed so we have to go look to make sure we don't need like this room here we don't need to have a space for the closet so we're gonna go and erase it there you go we're also gonna eliminate this room here which is a closed crawl space an empty hole sorry so we got rid of those two and we're also gonna get rid of the space for the stairs I like that we got rid of one two three spaces in our drawing All right now you notice that we have a room here that's one giant space so to fix this space what you have to do is we're going to use the space separator and we're going to separate from this corner here we're going to go down to this corner and now we separated the room by pressing enter you're going to notice oops, enter you're going to notice enter that we have one space here and another one over here so it took over us another space same thing we're going to do to this room over here in this corner we're going to use a space separator and we're going to divide it from here all the way to over here using the control perpendicular to that corner over there press enter 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 and you notice again we have our space separated all that's missing is we're missing our two room tags now one the one over here that we just built and another one over here so that's not hard we're going to go switch from design we're going to go to document click on document from there we're going to go use the room tag so let me just look for the room tag here 
Uh, where's my room tags? Tags. Make sure you're on the tags first of all. And we're going to go to room tag right over here. And we're going to click on it. Now it's telling us select the object to tag. So in this case here, we're going to tag this room here. Click on it. And you can fill in the information, but we'll do it later. Or you could just call it kitchen or whatever afterwards. We're going to rename them afterwards. Or here, I'll just call this one dining room now. Uh, property settings. Oh, we'll do them after. There's one over here. And let's do another space right over here. Click on it. And then we have another one set over there. You can move the tag so you can actually see it better by just moving it over using the icons here. Good. So now we have our spaces set. The next thing to do is just to rename everything. So give me a few seconds. So this room here we're going to rename dining. So click on it. Double click. Uh, you should be able to rename it. I think I have to click on the space itself. Sorry. Click on the space. There we go. And now from space 5, we're going to rename this one dining. All right. That's done. We're going to rename. We'll number them later on. This one here, we click on the space. And we'll call this one kitchen. So dining kitchen. This one here we'll call Passage. So click on it. Passage. This one here we'll call the Bathroom. So we'll just call it Bath. Click again on the actual hatch. Rename it to Bath. Okay. This one here we're going to name it Entrance. This one here we're going to call living room. So click again on the tag. Call this one living. So I think we named them all. And this one in the back is going to call patio. So I think we, na oh, we named them all except for the last one, which is this one here would be the mud room. So click here. And we name this one here mud rm. And the last one in the back, we'll call it the patio. The only difference is, is in the last one, which is the patio, you're going to need to click on it, and we're going to remove the one that says extrusion. We're going to leave it so it says 2D. We don't want it to be a 3D object. So what does that mean? If I go look at 3D right now, you see that everything looks closed off. So we see it. If I would go back over here and I click and I go check, let's go back to 2D wireframe. Top view. If I click here and I were to have this one as 3D extrusion, you're going to see now that my patio in the back is going to have a box shape like this. So I go look at realistic. You see, it's a box in this case here. So we need to turn that off to 2D lines. So we're going to click on it. And we're going to make sure we go back here and say 2D overall space. Perfect. Let's go back to our top view. And there we go. Let's just set save. By the way, in the case that you do not have the sp space separator, like we had before, which is over here, just type it in the same way, space, oops, all one word, and you see it's going to be the same thing. You're going to get the same th one, you just don't have the icon. In case it doesn't, you don't find it. All right, so now that that's done, now we're going to go and 
do some more modifications. So we're going to go now and modify our room tags. So we're going to go load them up, Content Browser. We're going to go to our document right here, Imperial Library, and we're going to go look for schedules tags. And here you see room and finish tags. And we're going to go get the one that says room tag with dimensions right over here. You're going to click and you're going to add it into our design or if, if you made one, you could do it yourself. You know, put it in there. Let's put it in the right location. Let's go here to document. Let's go to tags. Let's put it in here. Right over here. Close this. Right here. And let's add this one here. So now we have it with dimensions. Next, we're going to just going to click on it. Select the object to tag. So we just select one of the spaces, like so. And we could put it on top. OK, press OK. And now we have our different settings we could set. So if I go look on it, we could set different properties. Okay, if I go look, you can also just delete this at this point. Click on this one and change it over here. Uh, where's tags? I know, wrong one. Right here. And change it from this to space tag. So you can do something like that to change them back and forth. And now if I click on the properties, you see I have the same thing again, dining, and you can change the information. Good. We're going to go put it back to how we had it, just to show you how you can change the tags. We're going to go now to the display settings. So we're going to go here. And we're going to go to the space style settings. So we're going to go one of them, right click, and edit space styles. And we're going to go to display properties. And then you're going to go here, and you see where it says volume. We're going to click on it. And enter, we're going to turn them off. Press OK. Press OK. And now you're going to notice that when you go look at our drawing, we don't have the volume of the space generator anymore. So if I go 3D, you see it's flat. If I go back to where we were, uh, undo. I'll redo here. So now if I go check the 3D, I think I still saved it. There we go. We see we have the volume. If I click on one, right click, Edit display styles, volume, override, turn it off just to show you. And you notice that they're all gone. Now we're going to renumber all our room tags. So we're going to go back to the top view. We're going to go to our renumbering data tool. Click on it. And we're going to go and choose the one for accept. Start number is one. Increments of one. I could even do zero, zero, one. And increments of, uh, it won't let us do it, but you can go 1, 1, and press OK. Space object, and we're going to go by number. And we're going to go press OK. And now it's going to tell us to choose where number 1 is. So in this case here, our entry will be number 1. See, 1. Our number 2 would be the passage. Our number 3 would be the bathroom. Our number four will be the living room. Our number five will be the dining room. Our number six is the kitchen. Our number seven is the patio in the back. All using, uh, number eight, sorry, the mudroom. All using the renumbering data tool. Once you're done, press OK. And now we have them all numbered. If you want to move around a tag, you can just click on it and move them left or right. Right click control and you can move them saying none. So it's you can place it where it's convenient for you and you can actually see it. Once you're done, just hit save. And you have just tagged all the rooms, rename them, and so forth. Perfect. Let's hit save. And there we go. Thank you very much. This that tutorial is about modifying drawing and create uh, sorry modifying room tags and adding them